All right, so you guys are going to be working in the lab today. And in every lab station, there are two carts, and you're going to be making them do various things. Well, you at your station are going to be making them do one thing. But here's what's going to happen. On your whiteboard, you're going to have like a before side and an after side. So your whiteboard, let's say your whiteboard is like, like this. And like I said, I don't care if you do it left and right wide or up and down wide, it doesn't matter. So you're going to draw the situation. So one of the stations will look like this, where you have one of your carts, it's coming in, it's going to hit another cart that was stationary, and it's going to hit and stick to it. So come over here, and what's that going to look like after? Well, if it hits and sticks, they're going to be moving together. So here's what you need to know. So you can call your carts A and B. That's totally fine. I would like if you gave them colors, though. So let's make this one, make this cart A, and we'll make it green. Call this one B, and we'll make it blue. Does that look good? And then to analyze this, we're going to need an LOL. Right? We're going to need some bar charts. So. So what's in our system? Card A and card B. What kind of energy are we talking about here? This one's only kinetic. There's some back there that are going to have some elastic energy, and we can, we can talk about that. But this is going to be kinetic. Does that look good? So how are we going to figure out how much kinetic energy we have here? We're going to use the kinetic energy formula, right? What's the kinetic energy formula? One half times mass times velocity squared, or speed squared. Yeah. That's right. So what does that mean you need to know in order to find out the kinetic energy of, you need to know its speed before it hits, true? So you need to know the mass of car A and the speed of car A before the collision. That's what we're going to use the computer for. Does that sound good? And then what about B? B is nice because it's not moving, but you need to know it. Anyway. Mass of B, speed of B is zero in this case. Is that cool? And then over here, um, so you're going to calculate the kinetic energy of each, and then you're going to put them on the bar chart. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to need to know the total mass AB after and the speed after. And again, we're going to get that. We're going to get that from the computer. So you're going to get the energy over here, the kinetic energy of A and B. Does that make sense? And again, each station has a its own unique um, scenario. But I'll I'll coach you guys through this. How does that look? Easy enough? Yeah. Fun and easy day today. Fun and easy day today. We're not we're not trying to stress anybody out. I'm not trying to stress anybody. You stressed out the internet. It's not bad. Though. What are you going to do? You can't complain about things you can't control. Like no internet. been working at, and if I have to uh, rearrange some people, I will. It's not personal. I just make sure to balance out what's happening. Does that sound
get ready? So here's the soup plug. I love this one. So you get the little spring in. Okay? To make it, to lock it, you push it in. I'm sorry, push it in and up. Is that cool? Okay. 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 I like to do it with the whiteboard markers. Oh. Is that cool? Now, let's use our brain for a second. And, okay, so the car, okay, let's go. Each car is a half kilogram. If I hit this now, which thing is going to be moving fast? Probably, right? Right? Okay. And that makes sense, right? Because the force is the same and the mass is the same, so they should have the same acceleration. What if I um, double the mass? So the bar is the same mass. If I double the mass, now it's going to be moving faster. Absolutely. In fact, if you had to guess, how many times faster? Because it has twice the mass, it's going to have half the acceleration and the number of Is that cool? All right, this is your situation. Diagram it up. Someone log on and start the Logger Pro program. All right, you guys have to eat. Diagram it up, log on, start the Vlogger Pro program. I hope you guys are ready. All right. Ladies, you ready? So, this one, it's so cool, isn't it? Like, seriously? Yeah. Like, magnets are endlessly enjoyable. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it in. Right? Don't let them roll off the edge, right? So, what do you notice about the speed of them together? It's, it's less than the original. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. This is your situation. Okay. Diagram it up. Log on. Start the longer program, and then we'll measure the unit. Right. Are you guys ready for the hard one? Thank you. 